everybody. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Um, it is May 2016 and I wanted to share a bath that I'm about to do. Um, but I, I really truly love and it's very simple and expensive uh, to do. And I recommend this at least once a month for everybody. You know, uh, you're interacting with a lot of energies. You're shaking people's hands. You're interacting with co-workers at work. Uh, you go to the store, you're handing money to a cashier, you're handing money to someone when you're purchasing items or food. So think about all the energy, right, that's going back and forth, back and forth. Um, and, and again, this is not, it should never be about fear. Anything that you do should never be about fear. It should simply be about aligning yourself and bringing yourself back to your essence and who you are, right? There's no reason to have fear when there's faith. When there's faith, there's no fear. There's one or the other and you choose. Um, and so everything that you do, make sure that you set the intention of it being due to faith and positivity at all times right because we are what we say we are we are what we perceive in our mind that we are so be careful with your thoughts because your thoughts uh become your outcomes and your your um you know your actions so you know in in one day you have 35 chances to make choices in one day 35,000 thoughts run through your mind believe it or not 35,000 you have 35,000 chances to change your thought process to to change something to say you know what even though you've thought about something 10 times you decided that one time that you're not going to think about that anymore you made that choice because you're the only thinker in your mind and so that is the biggest tool that you have that is the biggest gift that God has given us free will right and we're the only thinkers in our mind so when we're going through situations we can't blame anybody else we can't say it was this person yeah maybe they triggered a thought in your mind but it was your choice to to dismiss that thought or to absorb that thought and hold on to that thought and you can always let it go at your choice because of free will okay and if you're having a difficult time and you feel that you're going over and over and over again this is um, why I introduce you to this bath and and clearings and different things that you can do to bring the healing from the outside in so I want to start off with what this is in here um, this is uh, eggshell powder and so basically it's just eggshell and it's in the form of powder uh, this is one of my favorite, very favorite things to use. I put actually put this in um, my shoes. I, um, you know, uh, put some of it in the the window ledges. I, you know, do crosses and I do prayers. Um, it's very pure. It represents purity. And you know, some people that are are vegan or you know don't uh, believe in anything that has to do with anything coming from a, you know, an animal. I understand this is not something that you would choose to use, and that's understandable. Um, but it's you know it's it's just like a you know in the form of chalk. It feels like it feels uh, like chalk. It's awesome. And again, I put it in my shoes. Um, I I put it in my bath. I um, I put it in my sprays and my clearing sprays. So you know I get very creative with it. Um, you can find it online in Spanish. It's called cascarilla. Um, you know, I just, it really resonates with me. This is something that growing up my grandma used to use and, um, you know, it's not due to any religion and any other belief, but this purity for me, it just represents purity. The white is pure. Um, it's just, it's, it's, uh, unconditional, right? Animals are unconditional. Uh, they bring that love and that essence to us. Um, but it, it's just about the, the shell itself, okay? Um, this obviously says exactly what it is. So this is holy water. And I'll put some holy water in my bath along with the eggshell powder. And then this is my best friend, Florida water. I do sell this, but it because it's liquid, it's hard for me to ship. Uh, it's more expensive for me to ship than to sell. But you can find this item online, um, you know, uh, uh, Murray and Lemon, they sell it and you can go online and purchase it and order it from them. It's not water from Florida. Some people think, oh, Florida water is fine. It's not. It's floral water. And that's the color of it. It's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. It's amazing. I use this in my bath. I also put some of this with moon water and blessed water in a spray bottle and I'll spray the corners of my home because some people, uh, most people use sage, but if somebody has asthma, right, you don't want to use the sage. So this is a little bit more, um, less harsh on the lungs. So you can use this 
and um, spray the corners of your home, spray your curtains, spray your pillows, spray your bed sheets, spray your car, spray any space that you want to refresh energetically, refresh, bring it back to the essence of love, right? When we're living in a space, we go through hurt, we go through pain, go through illnesses, we go through hard times in, you know, all different type of ways, mentally, physically, emotionally. And so when you're spraying your home and when you're doing these baths, you're bringing yourself back to the essence of love. Everything is about love. <laughs> Everything is about working backwards and becoming that innocent heart that we were born with. Uh, you know, working ourselves back to trusting people, trusting situations, and really having faith. Because when we were young, we ran around with no no worries and no cares in our mind. And honestly, we can bring ourselves back to that. Obviously, we still have to be responsible and we still have to live, you know, as human beings and pay bills and do the things that we need to do. But we can work our way back to that place of trust. We can work our way back to being kind-hearted and non-judgmental. And trust me, I, you know, I do these baths once a week uh, because I am a human being. And I do have my moments where I'm imperfect and have imperfect thoughts. But I choose, right, I choose one of my 35,000 thoughts of the day to be not to give that power, not to give that power. You know, don't get me wrong. I think sometimes the way that I deal with things is by pulling back from people, places, or things and really evaluating if energetically that's somewhere I want to be or something positive for me in my life. And I've had to make decisions to pull away from certain situations which have been hurtful. Maybe I've known all my life these situations, these people, these places, and these things, but I had to make a choice for, for me for the best and greatest good, maybe possibly of that person as well, right? Because you don't want to be toxic to anybody and you don't want anybody to be toxic to you. And when your energies are not really, you know, uh, vibing, I call it vibing, where they're melding together, they're kind of clashing, you have to take a step back. Does it mean that it'll be forever? Does it mean that it'll be temporary? Maybe, but as long as God knows, that's all we need to know. So I just wanted to to give you guys an idea of different things that that I do to clear myself. And this is something very simple, very inexpensive that you guys can do. And you can purchase these things online. You can go to a church and get blessed water. <clears throat> or if you're a Reiki practitioner, you can actually uh, put moon water. And what, I, what I'm referring to as moon water is you can put a gallon of water outside overnight under the full moon and then bring it in the next day. And there you go, you got your moon water and you can use moon water instead of holy water. If For those of you guys that, you know, might be of different beliefs, different religions, that you could use moon water, which is all natural and it's infused by the moon. Um, if you are a Reiki practitioner, you can even grab a gallon of water and attune the water. So you can get creative and you can do whatever you want. But this is Lily's little formula. Uh, it's one of my favorite baths. I actually add as well um, violet water, which I don't have here today. But violet water is also added to... To the bath. Sometimes I even um, uh, get white flowers before I go into the bath, and I'll just sweep my body, my auric field, with the white flowers. Again, white purity, love, and clarity. So um, I love you guys, and you have a very blessed day. Happy Mother's Day to all those beautiful mothers out there. And remember, cherish, cherish your, your children. You know, and no mother can say that they've had a perfect <clears throat> journey with their children. I know that um, you know we all have our ups and downs, and I have three young adults, and it can be sometimes very challenging because you can't hold them by the shirt and prevent them from falling anymore and busting their lip or or you know chipping their tooth or or hitting their head. You can't do that anymore when they're young adults. But the one thing you can do is love them for who you know they are, not for their mistakes. And I've learned that, you know, I held on to the fear of, oh, my God, oh, my God, he's going to do this. He's going to do that. She's going to do this. She's going to do that. But I think that I realized one day that I was giving power to the person that they're not. And I just want to give love to the person that I know that they are. So, mothers, I ask you to really think about that today and really love your children for who they are and keep yourself balanced because the more balanced that you are, the more balanced that they are. Many blessings. Bye-bye, guys.